So apparently this is gonna be my box yeah, truck now. Why'd you let your chicken shit all over your box? Just because. <laughs> That's where they shit. Somebody insisted that. Thanks. <laughs> I'm buying this this uh, box van here, and I have no room for it, and no time to work on it because it doesn't even run. But apparently this is mine now. That's where Donald shot through my house. I'm in Hell's Canyon. And we're getting some railroad ties for Donald. He's gonna use that to build a cattle chute. <laughs> Here's our towing setup. Chain, run the front cross member. Chain. Back of the dump truck. A little bit of tape, make sure they don't slip off the links. Keep them tight. I don't foresee much good happening here. No wonder it's so hard to pull. I was literally dragging it through the mud because somebody didn't have it in neutral. This just happens all the time to me. All right, now you're in neutral, right? That explains why it's so hard to pull. As you can see behind me, there's a there's a box van. Well, you can just see the box of it. That box is going to become a utility trailer. They're going to put a bunch of tools in. So I had to separate it from the van. So me and Dan are working on that now. The U bolts that hold the box to the frame rail. Um, I try to turn the bolts off and just end up breaking them. So it looks like we're just going to cut them off. And then where it bolts to the front of the van, I think we're just going to yank it a little bit and see if we can just break everything loose and just drag it off there and just cut it off with a saw later. Um, there's no sense in doing it pretty. still connected a little bit. Yeah, I cut some more. Yep, nothing dangerous about this. Fix that. That old tire rack, it's all rusted out anyway. It wasn't really worth nothing. So I'm gonna cut that out quick.
Well, here we go. Here's the start of it. Look, there's the axle under it. Now, nothing's attached. It's actually laying on the tires. But I just did kind of mock it up. See how it's going to look. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess the axle has to go back farther. Is that a practice one? Yeah. That's a real bladed one. It's pretty sick. Let me try it. Oh yeah. Ah. How do you know if it's recording? Oh, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> this weight, the weight's really weird on that. So. All right, so what we got to do is I want to try to pull the sides together on this box. They're bowed out a bit. You can't really tell from the outside, but if you look here, you can see that light come up through there. So the sides are starting to fall off. So what I'm going to do is I have these pieces of all thread. And I have this piece of angle iron, but it wasn't big enough to put it on, like wrap it around that way. So this is gonna be the next best thing. It's not perfect, but now all thread would go under the whole trailer, the whole box, I should say. So another piece, which is here, which is gonna go on that side, and then we're gonna tighten it down with some bolts. Doing is I'm tightening these up and the reason I throw it the whole way down here is because I'm gonna cut this off once I cut this it's probably gonna mess the threads up I don't have a tap and die set right now Full disclaimer, I am not a welder. I don't know how to weld. I literally been watching videos on YouTube trying to learn how to properly arc weld. So. All right, we got these mostly welded in. Well, just this side for now. So now we're gonna fit it all together, see how it looks. Nothing like work with all this stuff all still hot. Alrighty. So sometimes shit happens and here's the way this shit happened. This ain't gonna work for a cargo trailer. A couple of reasons is metal underneath of here, I'm right up against rust. It's gonna keep rusting. Everything's flexing too much. And I gotta keep throwing this axle and the body separate farther. So basically I have to jack the trailer up um, with risers because I just don't have enough space for, for travel with my axle. I'm not saying it's impossible to do, but the amount of money I have to spend to make this thing worth turning into a trailer, as in if, if I were to it turn into a trailer how it is now, I'd be terrified of the damn thing. Um, it's just not worth it. Uh, before I put any more money into it, I'm calling it quits. But I do have uh, a new purpose for this box. So, you know, it's not like we wasted all that time taking off the van. So here's my new purpose. I know some of you are looking at this one. Why green? The color green is because green blends in with the trees, the woods, blends with my property. So since this ain't working for a cargo trailer, let's make a really nice shed. Anything worth going is worth going drunk. So there it is. The box is all painted up. I still gotta grab a piece of plywood for you know that little cupy there. This side's painted as well. It's looking pretty good. 
All right, I'm gonna end this right here because like I said, it's gonna be another two weeks till I set that box in there. All I'm gonna do is put a piece of plywood to cover that, keep you right there. So it's not even worth worrying about it. In one of my future vlogs, I'll definitely be sure to update you on that box sitting in there. I'm gonna build some shelving for in there. So I'll give you a little bit of tour of that as that goes on. But that's just the gist of, uh, of my life right there. I buy a van. Um, you're gonna see a whole vlog about that van coming up really soon. But look, expectations for the van didn't work out. Expectations for the box trailer, the cargo trailer, that didn't work out. But you gotta improvise because when life gives you lemons, you drink beer. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for watching this vlog. I know it's gonna be like kind of like all this hype for this big disappointment. Like it's a really sad ending. But don't be sad because there's gonna be more projects. All right. So go ahead. I need everybody to hit that like button because the more likes I get, that helps me with my ratings on YouTube, which leads other people to find this awesome content. Right? If you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, I challenge everybody to get at least one friend this week. Please, I beg you, get at least one friend to subscribe. Guys, I'm not making any money at this. I don't want you thinking that. Um, I did launch t-shirts, so the link is down in the description. I should. This is what the shirts look like, right here. I don't have one with me. My hands are covered in paint. I don't want to touch new shirts. So, but I'm not making any money off the videos. The only reason I do it is for the love of doing it. And I like to provide content. And I like to show people the different way to live. Like, you don't have to live, you know, a 9 to 5 job and just be boring. There's a whole nother world out there. And you can build an empire. And I just hope, I really hope that I'm encouraging people. Hey, money, no money, subscribers, no subscribers. My end goal is that I'm inspiring people to do some crazy awesome stuff. Look who's here. It's Sparkles. Sparky! Welcome! Casa de Chetley. <laughs> it didn't fare too good.